Clamp, Vista, Cryptic Coat. Clamp's a sweet one, huh? Let's draw some cards. How does one start playing this version of Magic? Uh, you download the client as the start. Well, this has been foam. Do we run back, run back red again? I did a lot of red yesterday. Rebel Master's like earnestly the, the best card for this Skull Clamp here. <laughs> All right. Maybe I'll throw another color in. Play some Minskin Boo action or something. Or fourth Rathaim. And we're not married to red just because we took a Rabble Master. We draft green cards or something. Maybe a Bitter Blossom. Ophiomancer sort of deal. The Omnath Wheel? No, 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 no. Well, Gut is the best card in this pack. God damn it. All right. All right. All right. I'm trying to think about this Mother of Runes. It's clampable, and then it also protects Gut and Rabble Master. Could also take Umazawa's. I'm going to take this Relic. So sick of losing to Graveyard Shenanigans. Might even main deck it. These black cards are decent. Like Kariza versus Bomb. When do you sack the token? End of combat, you exile it. So it doesn't work with Clamp. It is good with Gut, though. Y'all liked Butt? Bob? Yeah, Bob would have been good. We could have taken Badlands here. But now we can take Headlord and Scarlet. Which a lot of people have been asking about, but I've only gotten to play like once, so. Headliner has been nothing but crazy for you. Sweet. Yeah, I saw it, I've seen it be like average a couple of times and absurdly good like once. It's very limited interaction with it. Figures a better clamp card. I've been pretty impressed with the prowess critters, though. A rendition of the Persona 5 music. I think this track's older than Persona 5, but yeah, I could see that. Maybe the timing would have been about perfect. How'd the last deck do? Last deck went 2 and 1. Got browned by Reanimator in one match. Persona 5 was all bangers. You're not wrong, Brutality. I started playing Persona 5 because I liked the soundtrack so much. People had like song requested a bunch of tunes. And then I started playing the game, and I was like, oh, this is <laughs> this, this is not actually of interest to me. <laughs> That's worth checking out. Do I want a Dargan? Dargan's a lot more above curve than a lot of my decks have been. But like, I'm not super stoked about getting a comes to play tap duel anyway. Hey, the Rage Wheel. There's one other red card in this pack. I think it was like some shitty burn spell. I don't remember. But Rage was the one, one that I wanted to come back. What does brown mean? If you get brown, you got ran over, yeah. So if I say 2 1 got browned by reanimator, I'm saying that the loss was me getting like fucking dumpstered. I do like staff with a lot of these cards. Means you got pooped on, yeah, like you browned your pants. Am I locked into mono red? I am not. But I would need to see like fourth or Athar here, I think. I like the Death Graves Champion, the Swift Spear, and the Carnage Interpreter in this pack. I don't maybe I'll take the Swift Spear and wheel like whichever the three drops comes back. That'd be fine, right? They're both really good three drops. But you gotta pay attention to your curve too. Hmm, take that there, Fire Blast there. Alright, now I'm feeling the mono red for Sherzies. Now it would take quite a lot to push me into a different color combination. You're a sucker for Carnage. Yeah, I like Carnage a lot too. One of the cool things about staying mono is that City of Traders and Ancient Tomb 
and the the cards that were used sack lands like fire blast and such all those cards just look way better because they're not actively damaging your mana base with the colorless acceleration mana crypt and the like stoneforge mystic would not tempt me into another color no but it would be a good pickup if i was already in there so far this deck feels a lot worse than our last one what with the lack of soul ring and black lotus <laughs> But uh, it'll be funny if we uh, if we end up trophying with it. Yeah, I think I want Ancient Tomb over Lightning Bolt or Raptor. But we would take Bolt over the Raptor. We just really need some acceleration. Make sure we're going to apply that pressure as quickly as possible. Bolt's super good, but it's also replaceable, right? There's other burn spells. Ooh... This one's very hard for me. Inti versus Chromox. I was just talking about how we really want to accelerate, which Chromox helps with. But Inti's like one of the better cards in red. That pressure that grows your creatures while drawing cards. Pretty strong. I think I'm taking Chromox over it. Red cards wheel. I'm not sure they will. Remember the um that pack that we only wield a single um Monstrous Rage out of. There were two other red cards in the first pack. I'm going to take the Chrome Mox here, but I don't think the Inti's coming back. I almost like that Judgment. Mostly because I'm not high on Ferocidon. And we could use a Burn Spell or two. It's like kind of a bad Burn Spell, but I'll grab it anyway. Hey, we get both of our options for the 3-drop. Alright, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll get some good wheels. Would still be a very late-in team. I think Champion is better than Carnage Interpreter, but I think it's very close. I love both these cards. Carnage Interpreter does get worse like the higher your curve is, and I am looking at some 4s and 5s with this draft, too. Indy is good enough that it might even push somebody into red. Probably not me necking the relic if I play the Lava Mancer. Solid chance I don't play the Lava Mancer, though. I'll be right back, folks. Oh, hey. The Raptor Wheel. You'd love to see it. I'll wait until I get these next couple of picks. Mmm. Something smells garlicky. The thing is, I know that when the pick comes, I'm only going to have like a few seconds to pick it. It makes me not want to leave my computer. But I've got food right outside my door. Waiting. <laughs> At computer delivery service. Someone has got a last pick hollowed fountain. Mm, a little food stuffs here. Got some dill in the sauce. Fucking love dill. What a good herb. Yeah, I'm gonna take the mox here. I might still play that relic over the lava mancer. I guess I'll leave it out. Not an exciting pack, is it? I think I like Ravager over Frost on though. Hey, a chain lightning. When I was talking about lightning bolt being replaceable earlier, huh? Oh shit, what up? Hey, TWP. You think red's the best color? I think all the colors have their merits. I'm one of those uselessly neutral people. Everything but Celestia. Yeah, trying to decide between Spellspear and Codebreaker. I don't think we're a great OU deck. We don't have like a ton of... I guess it's good with like Lava Mancer and maybe Avacyn's Judgment. But yeah, we don't have a ton. I'm going to take the code breaker. Hey, there we go. Finally, finally we eat. Finally some good food. Surely the bombardment will wheel. Well, I mean, then the Oyer is also wheeling, right? 
I like this pyrokinesis a lot. Giving them free spells. Lilia might be better than the Dilton sauce. Lilia might just be the sauce in and of herself. That's a very late fury. I think we can cut the dragon now. This Oliphant got really good, right? With, between Chrome Mox, Fury, and Pyrokinesis. We have like all the pitch cards now. Hey, Taco Farmer, I think it's 57 months. More cube. You've been loving the new Mana Circuit type? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind drafting that today. Probably only got one more draft after this one though. <clears throat> we shall see. Not a lot of ways of bidding anger. I can see playing this research desk card though. Does it trigger prowess when I unearth it? It does not. Still helps keep the, the spice flowing though. Any thought to Bowmat there? No, no thought. I think we're gonna be able to skip our one drop a lot of the time with the double mocks. So I don't want a ton of them. Well, if we have oh, you're in, then I do like playing the Lava Mancer. Is this his opponents? Frostodon and Oyer are kind of sick together, right? Should we rebuild this deck around this card? A Braid's a better card than Judgment, but you know, <laughs> you know. God, Frostodon is so much worse than my other threes. He might still be cu getting cut here. Oh, Oliphant's land. Doesn't everybody just love the sound of sirens in music? I think that's like a universally beloved thing. I don't know why else they would put sirens into music, right? Especially when driving. I don't think um, music is for people that are driving. Your focus is supposed to be on the road. No distractions. Once I'm elected uh, president, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make music in cars illegal. And also highly increase seatbelt restrictions. So you don't just have one seatbelt, one overstrap. You have to do a second one as well, going in the other direction. Then there's like way less chance that um, you get harmed, right? And you got the extra layer of safety there. I was starting to get hungry. How many am I thinking about cutting? This might be the deck. Just play 15 sources. These cards are all pitchable, so it's kind of like our curve stops at four. I feel like there should be one more actual land in here. This is our second red draft of the day. Yeah, this draft uh, mono red was just open. So this is a two lander on the draw, which would be totally fine, except it sucks. We're just like kind of slow. There's some matchups where just like having a couple burn spells is fine. We don't know if this is that kind of matchup. I kind of want to send this back. Yeah, look for a Mox Hand, huh? If they hand it, oh, you're keep the Frost on, but it doesn't, so it's my worst card. You've been low on Monstrous Rage? Oh, really? I've been super high on it. Really dig it with Prowess Critters. Have you played it in Standard? I think it's like fucking nuts in Standard too. Again, with all the Prowess Critters, right? And what have yous. Stomp it out. I 
And this is the sort of situation where you see, like, if I don't have the pitch cards, I don't want to play the old font, right? Because it might uh, impair my ability to curve if I have to bid in next turn instead of playing the Raptor. Hey, fair enough. And they need a pretty good next turn here, where they die, I think. Concerned. Yeah, any burn spell is good there, but uh, if they had a blocker instead of a Palantir, then it would have been much better than a burn spell. Hmm. I think about this a braid. I guess it comes in, huh? Judgment's pretty stinky. Lotus Soul Ring Monored went two and one. We've had two Lotus Soul Ring decks today, and they have a combined three and three record. This hand's a little awkward versus discard, but I like it otherwise. I think I can print Chandra now. If I hadn't hit a land, I would be bidding Dolophon this turn, of course. I was thinking I was going to be doing Code Breaker if I whiffed on my land this turn, but they have a, something for me to burn. Might as well burn it. Now we're set up for Gut next turn, potentially. They don't answer my cards have anyway. Hell yeah. Is Monstrous Rage a better card than Rancor? That's an interesting question to me. That is, I think, the right question. Just upgrading my monkey over here. Fable Bind Inferno Titan, so. That makes a reanimation effect kind of scary, huh? Yeah. Well, at least they don't keep it. That's an answer, though, huh? That's a fucking answer. Well, if we go to game three, that relic's coming back in. <laughs> That's for fucking shame. My cards. Yeah, my plan was to run out with the code breaker and then clamp, equip the code breaker, get in with it, and then it dies at end of turn. I draw two on my end of turn. Oh shit! This is a fucked up rip. We gotta block something here. It's probably better to block the death greeter, but then you're taking ten and going to two life. Yeah, Death Creators like really impressed me. It's 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 gonna be in my cube for sure. Need to remember to pick up one. The trading off, sure. Now they're at two versus the brain deck. <laughs> 
You're so high on Death Greeter. Yeah, me too. It's also like stupid with the pump spells, huh? Imagine being drunk and smoking a cigarette. I don't think I have that good of an imagination. Hi, eh? <laughs> Not quite an answer. I have another story from living in that apartment. Um, there was a day that I wasn't there. I was like hanging out with my girlfriend. And I, uh, so I didn't, like, see anything or hear anything that went on that night. And when I came back the next day, I opened the door, and the first thing I see is the, uh, our big table. There's, like, this solid oak table in the middle of the, um, in the middle of the area that was, like, pretty good to, like, play cards on and such. Huge table, thick table. And it had been shredded like splinters. And I was like, what the fuck? And then I started looking around our apartment and like the bookshelves had been shattered. Um, people's possessions were like heaped into piles. The sink had been ripped, ripped off the wall. And my room had been left alone. But I found out, I pieced together the story talking to people afterwards. Um, my friend, who is a, a pretty solid dude, but, you know, made some mistakes. And ended up on uh, probation. Ended up violating his probation because he was caught drinking while underage. And so he knew that, like, his life was wrecked. He had just gotten a job, and, like, he uh, he wasn't going to be able to do that anymore. He was going to have to go back to jail, you know, because he had, you know, broken probation. And so he came home uh, crying, like, really mad at himself uh, for fucking up again. And uh, when he got home, he had started breaking the apartment. My other friend... The same one who had attempted to start a grease to like burn down the entire apartment by dumping water on a grease fire. He wakes up and he was you you might have gotten the idea that he's not really the the calm people down sort of person. <laughs> he wakes up and he sees uh our friend like like sobbing and like really mad, like punching the furniture. And he just goes, yeah, and he starts helping him dismantle the apartment. No information about, like, why he was in a bad mood. Nothing. Needed none of that. Just immediately starts helping destroy everything. <sighs> anyway, uh, we didn't, we didn't uh, live in that apartment anymore. <laughs> and uh, I don't think we got the uh, the deposit back either. What are you gonna do? This was not St. Louis. No, this was this was a long time ago. I'd already been uh, through college and stuff. I was living in St. Louis. Hey Heisenberg, thanks for the sub. Thanks for twenty six months. Appreciate you. And then an anonymous gifter. Thanks for gifting five subs. Congratulations to Sacred Hearts. Odamira, DJ Big Slice, Science Guy 22, and Twin Slug. And uh, thank you, Anonymous Gift Dame. Well, that's a good friend, I guess. <laughs> Alright, 12 here. We can do 11 fucking damage. God damn it. That Uma's house is just going to clean up my board next turn is the issue. Oh, wait, the Death Greeter's got Double Strike. So they need to answer the Death Greeter before the Umazawas can connect. So I'm just going to play this out and pass. Maybe even serve here. Ahem. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> they do get to draw a card. Very odd, San Holo. Nine plus four is uh, enough, right? Thirteen. Sweet. I'm glad I took the, the moment there to realize that my champion had double strike, so I could actually prevent them from getting Umzawa's counters. <clears throat> took the extra second or two. I think I want to braid after seeing their Umzawa's. Also, why am I playing Judgment over Burst Lightning? It was like, <laughs> this is a much worse card. <laughs> that, is a, that is an error on my part. Could they get past the double strike? Um, not currently. A flyer? Yeah, a flyer removal spell is what they needed. They played a swords earlier. If the Lothal was a regular land, this would still be a mulligan. I have Secunder. Well, I guess we're keeping five here. Fucking suppose. Yeah, I, um, I tweeted out a really good one the other day. But I've also combined it with Goblin Bombardment to good effect. That's why both of those cards are in this tank. Hmm. Fucking thing, huh? I was thinking if we hit for the Scarlet, it'll like draw us two per turn. Could be Dece. Really unsure why Thalia didn't get in. Kinda hate this block, but I don't want to take too much damage with my Ancient Tomb here either. Hmm. I think that's gonna be winning. Let me take five here and go to 11. Ah, shit. Got a pretty fast clock. They didn't sack to it. Mm. That's still gonna be good enough. Hmm. Like, it looked like Fort Bolt was good against them, right? I almost want Relic Tomb versus that Recursion. I think we should just kill them, though, right? I don't think the Recursion matters very much if we can just fucking kill them. Just apply good pressure. Our draw couldn't do that very well, so it was kind of miserable. Let's get Chandra. Planeswalker is earned. Pretty easy to clear from Angro Dank signs. Correct TWP. Man, 
mana sources and spells. Well, aren't you greedy? Got him. Get in Swift Spear. Sure. Pretty glad they did that. The Prosp creatures can be pretty fierce, but I was thinking that Bombardment plus Karizeb might be sick. They did Swords of Swift Spear. I don't know what they're thinking about here. Yeah, no reason to take that, right? Because we can sack the Ragman to kill the 1-1 one -one at the end of the turn. Point looted away Fire Blast. Sure. They're going to block the 2-1 and then sack to kill the Bombardment. Which is a little annoying. But then I guess I get to sack the 2 1 to kill them or hit them for a ping. Not the end of the world. It'd be cool if we saved this Monstrous Rage for the Death Greeters champion, but I think I'm going to target the Karis of. Let's get some damage in here. I don't think Grim Lava Mancer's on, hum. A little bit worried about some of the Boros top end cards in this spot. Athari, fourth, that sort of thing. Wish we can race fine, but we need uh we do need that third mana. Or like a pyrokinesis or something. I'm gonna keep the Lava Mancer up in case they have a Haster to combine with the Sumasawas. Have I watched Kids on the Slope? I'm not familiar. No. So if I shock them. They'll be at four. Good analysis, Caleb. Aren't they dead? I don't see how. That's what I'm trying to muddle out right now, friend. Only three cards in the graveyard. The Karizev has first strike. So if you Lava Mance their face down to four, and then you serve with your Karizev, their Karizev blocks your token. And then first strike... Oh, the my first strike is going to deal damage... The same time theirs does. Yeah, I think that works then, hum. Yeah, I appreciate that, TWP. Yeah, always let me find it. Is that better? It's very similar, right? If I champion and pump the, the Karizev. I think that also works. Oh, no, it doesn't. Could I stomp what they block? Well, that's not as good as stomping their face and winning. I guess the actual, like, best time to stomp is when the Umazawa's triggers on the stack, then you stomp them. Just in case they have Solitude for the Karizev. They have Solitude for the Karizev, though. You might just be losing this. I 
I don't love this hand, but Fury's good in a lot of matchups. They cannot block the the Kari because it's got Menace. Ethel some. So they can only block the 2 1. The never mulliganings. Would you have mulliganed that, Skittles? I think on the play in the dark, I think you should be keeping Fury plus red card plus. plus threat. I think Bowmasters are kind of scary. Wow, they're Force of Willing the Fury. That's a terrifying sign. <laughs> you just want me to have to mulligan? I did some mulligan in the last match, huh? Draw seven? Yeah. That's kind of what it felt like. I, I wish I'd still had my Fire Blast, huh? Because then I could blast the Bowmaster. Still be in a rough spot, but less rough, I guess. Yeah, that beats me. Oh, I still have Judgment in instead of Burst Lightning. Burst Lightning, much, much better here, right? Instant Speed Answer to the Orcs. So that doesn't happen again. It was brutal that I made the decision to to fury the orcs in case they had the draw seven. They did have the draw seven, but they also had force will to protect the orcs. At least I can take comfort in knowing that I played correctly. <laughs> Just by getting absolutely destroyed. Sure. He needs some mana now, huh? Where's that ancient tomb? Uh, just yesterday and a couple times today, Brandor. I wonder if I'm supposed to fire blast there and keep the Codebreaker alive. Gross. I don't think so. The Codebreaker still gets breaked by the Orc on future turns. Do we just have t turn two or turn three, draw seven every game? Just every game, huh? And force will back up. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Sure. <laughs> and that person did not want me to get a trophy, that's for shame. Jesus Christ. All right, one more draft. One more draft. 